guys and welcome back to Shelly's Homemade and today guys we're going to be making some chicken pot pies. So for our chicken pot pies I had some diced um, chicken breast here that I've diced up into bite sized pieces. We have some celery, we have some onion and we also have some carrots. I have some roasted garlic and herb seasoning, butter, rosemary and thyme. We don't have the fresh stuff use the dried it's fine I have a few tablespoons of better than bouillon I have some minced garlic I have some flour here two tablespoons I have two cups of milk some puff pastry here I have some chicken broth some um these are diced potatoes hashed they're pre-cooked and everything they had also have onions and peppers and everything in there um, I have some broccoli, some green beans, and some corn. My oven is preheated to 375 degrees, guys. Let's get cooking. Um, before we start cooking, guys, let you know that you can do this with turkey. You can do this with seafood. You can do this with wherever you want to do it with. These are just some tips. If you can't find puff pastry, um, you can do you can use pie shell it will work just the same guys I'm not gonna put it on the bottom because if you put puff pastry on the bottom it's not gonna get crisped up and give you that that crispy one you're looking for all it's gonna do is make a soggy mess so we're just gonna put this on the top all right just like that so let's move over to the stove and let's start cooking guys okay so I have some olive oil down in my pot guys we're gonna go in with our diced chicken and we're gonna cook that up first okay see I can't put any more in it's not as high as I thought it was I hear it cooking it's just not giving me that sizzle I want so I'll be back when it gets hot all right so it's starting to cook in that hot it was in there for like another minute and that's what I'm talking about that's what I want to hear when I put my chicken in this chicken has been washed get all my chicken in this is not going to give you like brown crispy skin or nothing like that because it's too much chicken to do that but we're going to do everything in this one pot and then transfer everything to my baking dish some of this roasted garlic this stuff is really good it has all the herbs and and garlic everything inside of there I'm gonna go down with two tablespoons of this don't be shy get in there with it just shake it in there along with a little bit of chicken bouillon so we're gonna season up this chicken it's a lot and I'm just gonna mix it in there I'm not going to add any salt to this because chicken bouillon is already salty. Alright guys. So once this starts to cook up, I'll be back to show you what to do next. Alright, so we're back. Now we're going to cook up the chicken. It's 90% of the way done. So we're going to take this out. And we're going to go in with our veggies. smells amazing. This chicken smells amazing. I'm not lying. This, those herbs, that roasted herbs by Webby. Oh. And what we're going to season up at every level. Every level, guys. I'm going to 
gonna go in with a little butter. I'm gonna add our onions, and we're gonna pick up all of that chicken. gonna get a little color on here we're gonna get this so it's a little translucent and then we're gonna take these out and then we're gonna start our roux so, like I said we're gonna season at every level so we're gonna go in you know what I think I'm gonna leave the veggies in a little of that I'm gonna go some bouillon in the description box guys the all the ingredients is going to be in there oh yeah get your veggies going this is what we want look at it. it's already starting to turn translucent already so since that's happening, I'm going to go in with some garlic, some minced garlic. You can use fresh garlic if you want. We use two cloves of fresh garlic. If you're using minced, use about a tablespoon. This stuff is potent and strong. So now, let's go in with some flour. And this is two tablespoons of flour. And get that mixed in there. And what we want to do here at this step is just cook out the flour taste. That's all we're doing. We're just cooking out that flour taste. And if you feel like you just need to add a little more butter, I need to add some more butter. So, all together, I've added, added four tablespoons, four teaspoons of butter. And this is the way to go, guys. This is the way to go. We're going to cook all of that out of there. We're going to cook all of that out. And since we went in with a little flour, we're going back in with a sprinkle of that bouillon. Now remember, we're going to add a whole bunch of liquid to this. We're going to add milk. We're going to add um, some chicken broth. We're going to add the chicken broth first, and then we're going to go in with that milk. And this helps thicken up this room right here helps thicken it up. Alright. And we're going to go in. And I'm going to switch to my um, whisk. I'm going to go in and add a little at a time. You can always add, but you can't take out in. Looks amazing. I just keep adding. too thick but we're going to thick enough and just let it go okay so I'll be right back when it's thick enough a little more 
Alright, so this has come up to a boil and it's not as thick as I would like it to be. So I have two tablespoons of flour and I'm going in with some chicken broth. I'm just going to make a, a slurry or a paste. I'm just gonna mix it over top of the bowl. Like so. There you go. So it's like a a slurry of, of paste or whatever you wanna call it. And then I'm gonna go in. Add a little more. Then go in and see what happens. How thick it gets. Yep, it's doing it for me. That's what I'm talking about. I had the rest. So that was two tablespoons each. And it thickened up quite nicely for me. I'm going to turn this down because I want it to cook off a little bit. So it don't give me the flour taste. Oh uh, yeah. some more chicken broth. The rest of that. I'm going to switch my whip back. Oh yeah. Mm -hmm. Our flames back up. It be nice and thick. Starting to thicken up to the right consistency. Because remember, we're going to add milk to this. So, fourth of a cup of flour. Now we're going to end with our milk. And the reason I wanted it this thick. It's because also, guys, we're going to be adding frozen vegetables to this. So frozen vegetables is going to release water and also thin it out. So right there, I just use one cup. I use one cup of milk. Now at this point, I'm going to grab a spoon and I'm going to taste it for a seasoning why it's still thickening up for me. Oh yeah. Mm-hmm. I'm going to go in with my herbs. Some fresh herbs. It's the ticket right there. I'm going in with some broccoli. And it depends on you how much you want to put in there. I got my potato hash here. I'm going to go in with about a cup of this. vegetables guys. Plenty of veggies. That was about a half a cup creaming. Corn. Same thing. Well, 
Nothing but a half a cup and then bake. taste it again because we're going to let it cook a little and we're going to taste it again because remember we added those veggies and we just want to make sure that our salt content is where it's supposed to be all right look at that that looks amazing and I haven't even added the chicken yet You could just do it just like this. And if you want it vegetarian style, omit the chicken broth and use vegetable broth. Or just use water. Or just use all milk. Soy milk. You know, unsweetened soy milk. Stuff like that. The oat milk. You know, plenty of substitute. Make it your own. You know, I'm just giving you a blueprint, a blueprint of how to, of what it is. And you make all the changes and adjustments you like, you know, like if you was building a house and the architect come in with his blueprint and say, hey, this is what I decided to do. And you can say, no, I don't like this. I don't like that. I'm going to take this out, take that out, put this in, put this in. You always do that. Always. too good so all together it was two tablespoons of the chicken bouillon well, three tablespoons of the chicken bouillon I said two three tablespoons of the chicken bouillon now we're gonna add our chicken back there it is and we're just gonna let it all cook down and when we come back guys we are going to just put it all together into my pan and just let it cook up for us that is amazing I mean you can eat it like this and have chicken veggie soup or stew chicken chicken vegetable stew got potatoes the onions everything in there all right I'll be back. Alright, so now we're just going to transfer our filling right inside here. So, I'm out. You're going to get chicken and vegetables. And every bite, guys. Man. That can be so delicious. You get potatoes. It's a whole meal. Whole meal. Carrots, onions, corn. This is enough to make two pans. And this here, a little closer. So, take that out. Parchment paper. Oh, we just set this right on top. Like that. You can brush it with egg wash if you like. I'm just going to go in to spray. And get it right into the oven. 
375 degree oven about 25 30 minutes and you got chicken pot pie all right guys look at this beautiful golden brown chicken pot pie or as my son say chicken casserole <laughs> all right so we're gonna go in you hear that crust oh man we're going in right on it a pastry crust vegetables it looks amazing going for a taste you got the corn the chicken everything in one bite I'm so good. Let's go in and we can get some of that pastry on there. Nice and golden brown. pastry so good. This is a quick easy meal. Any weeknight meal. Work night. School night. Whatever night. Mm. Mm. Like, share, and subscribe guys. And as always, have a wonderful day. Mm. See you in the next video.